about today in your groups is you're gonna come up with a business. So it's a business that's gonna make stuff and hopefully you do it well. And what happens if you make your stuff or you do your service well? The Change Lab learning experience is to engage students in technology and community while um, doing personally meaningful and contextualized projects. We chose Birmingham because uh, we wanted to teach the kids about money and so one way that we thought to do that in a contextualized manner is to do it through um, a creation of their own business. But in the creating of their business they have to create something that would um, impact the Birmingham community. When we presented the, the idea that Change Lab was going to be about finance and was going to be about money this year, um, I guess it was kind of like a mixed emotions from the kids, kind of like a whole bunch of blank stares. I went in there and I found out that it was actually about business. And I was like, okay, you know, uh, then I was like, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more than scratch, but it's also going to be really boring. But when we presented the idea to them that they were going to create their own business ideas and then they were going to um, present their ideas to the community through their scratch projects, they were really excited about it. We, then we got into it and I found out how much money this stuff would cost and uh, uh, what it takes to really run a business well. It's, it's not that we're just trying to get all this money, it's this money that we're trying to get like for a purpose. I feel most kids didn't have a real sense of money. Probably like one thousand dollars. Probably like twelve hundred dollars. And then when they actually went out and met with the small business owners and asked them these questions, small business owners replied about two million dollars uh, to start. Uh, it was kind of like a like a sobering and humbling, I guess, experience for them to realize like the costs associated with things. You need money. But we need a lot of money to do it. Money, money, money. That's all it really is, I mean, but there's also a ton of other things that you have to do. Uh, so during the week, the kids brainstormed different business ideas. Um, they came up with like some really great, like innovative, cool, personally meaningful ideas that not only like made money, but had an impact on the community as well. We're running a mall. So we're going to ready to split the mall into four different parts. A homeless shelter slash recreation center. But Jaira says all of a sudden that she wants to do a, per a people's nail salon with a dog groomer sign. Like, what's, what's a dog? Yeah, what's a nail dog salon shop? slash dog shop. place. Okay, mo men don't get their nails done. Well, most men, I know, don't get their nails done. But see, there are homeless men and women, so we'd be helping, like, I think we'd be covering more ground with something that, like, everybody can use. Are you okay with that idea? Mm -hmm. All right. So that's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. So the students researched uh, their business ideas by talking to small business owners, family, and friends and neighbors, and then incorporated that research into their business ideas. I think it will be to have like a mall built in downtown. Have a mall? Yeah. I think it'd be great if there was enough people to support it. Yeah, if there was enough people. I mean, I live it. downtown. Right. So I would love that. Right. Okay. Yeah. You mall is a great right idea, but homeless shelter. Like, I already knew going into it that it's gonna be like, what? <laughs> so if we turn this into a green mall powered on solar panels, electricity, um, windmills, maybe on the top of it to spark electricity. We won't need any staff starting out because staff gonna be the homeless people. We have lemonade ice cream, gingerbread ice cream, donut ice cream, cake ice cream, pecan ice cream, chocolate pie ice cream, coconut pie ice cream. So we had a wide range of kids for a change lab. Um, I think the ages went from six to about 16. You had the older kids being there to help out the younger kids. And so the younger kids kind of felt validated because they really, they did have some really good ideas. That would be kind of cool though. Like have yeah. a drive-thru. Like, no, like, it, it would not be a drive-thru, it would be a drive-in. Like a drive-in. Yeah, drive, like, yeah, you can drive. see like, the, all right, I got an idea. 
we had um, different professionals come in. So we had some bankers come in and also uh, a women's group called Momentum and they came in and basically asked them questions about their business like why should I actually back your business? Why should I provide you the funds to start up your business? Why do you think it's important? Why do you think it's going to serve the community? So, I mean, why would someone want to come to your ice cream shop versus someone else? We made like tomato ice cream for the older people. Tomato ice cream? Okay, that's creative. What, what, what else? There's, there's like banana split ice cream. Cupcake ice cream. I like that. Then, that sounds great. Pizza ice cream. Pizza ice cream. Well, like when we put pepperoni on the ice cream. Okay. They were just really amazed and shocked at how seriously their ideas were taken. I think a group came up with a mall concept. They wanted each startup business to kind of cater to the needs of the downtown area. Uh, it was, I mean, I just found it to be a pretty uh, huge, creative, and, and refreshing idea. We wanted the kids to have, I guess, like a context or a medium through which to express their business ideas, and so we chose Scratch, which is a visual-based um, computer programming language. So in Scratch, you can make animations, you can make stories, you can make presentations, you can make games, and um, whatever idea that they had come up with, it was like, all right, now tell me why you chose your idea, what's your, what's your consumer market, what's your target story, and express that in Scratch to give me an idea of what you want to do. And then on the last day, they presented their projects to the community. So their parents were there. There were um, employees from the mayor's office. Um, uh, so they got to actually see what the students presented. And the, the students were able to actually sell their ideas to, to the community. The whole idea of Change Labs is for like youth and kids to see themselves as like agents of change in a community. So the fact that they could come up with an idea and they have professionals take them seriously, uh, I think that that really just like drove it home that they could actually have an impact on the world around them. Mm -hmm.